the ACC on ESPN. And this afternoon, the Seminole faithful lined up early to get inside to see their team in the middle of a three-game series. Florida State now in first place in the ACC, taking on North Carolina. The Seminoles won yesterday in walk-off fashion in a run out for Coleman. Beecham couldn't cut it off. It gets all the way to the shortstop, Torres. How about this, a true freshman left side of the infield. As they attack a ton of speed at the top for North Carolina. Skylar Brooks, first pick swinging. That is a fair ball, but she stops at first. Kaylee Mudge, the veteran, able to go off, playing relatively shallow in left field and hold it. Little off speed, misses high, two runners on. pitching staff for Florida State. All of them are starters, relievers, and closers. Skyed into left field. Mudge on the run, tracks it, grabs it. Tagging up at second, Brooks gets into third. So runners on the corners now with two away. And I like the approach of back. Coaching at her alma mater. Thompson into center field, sends Kerr back to the wall. It hits off the top of the wall. North Carolina, just like yesterday, strikes first. Aggressive base running gets Thompson into third. I mean, Sanaa has been, as she steps in, she gives this ball a ride. That ball was left way over the heart of the plate and drives it to the base of the wall. Her second triple of the season. But more impressive, it gets the, gets the Tar Heels on the board. So for Megan smith Lyon to fall in love with the idea of playing, being at her alma mater. Middleton hits it to Flaherty, doing second baseman things. But Sanaa Thompson with a two run. Mudge, solid liner all the way to the wall. That's gonna be an easy stand-up double to start things off for the Knowles. 3-1, Beecham takes it into the gap. She's gonna get yet another RBI. And I welcome those of you who just watched lacrosse on the ACC network. And behind, it gives more power to the Knowles. Full count. Harding on the ground. Middleton goes the short way. And Beecham. Concerned with Skyler Brooks, the second base, and quite a collision. Helps her up. And over there at second base, as Skyler Brooks received the throw from Destiny, Destiny Middleton at third, she did not get out of the way of Beecham, although that is a pretty wide slide. And so I'm surprised. Hannibal goes to first for the second out as Harding heads down to second. And the senior, nice play by the shortstop, Donelmeyer, to retire the side with an RBI single game. Full count, that is sent into the air. Mudge drips and gets it. I think that's aided, though, by the wind. It seems to be blowing in from the outfield wall. So because of that, pushes it just enough. That was one of the points of emphasis that head coach Megan smith Lyon said she made when she came on campus. Popped up in short left field. The freshman Torres trips back for the second out. About 80 points higher than last year. Flaherty. Toss over, so a, a nice one. Might help Edenfield, but she doesn't need any more power. She sends this ball. Great discipline at the plate, though. Leads off the inning with a walk. So important to be dipped for the Knowles. Kerr waited on it a little bit, sent it in the left. Thompson into foul territory, makes the play for the first out. Hit the same zone repeatedly. Bounced it in. Emerlin kept it in front of her, but a couple of walks surrendered by Hannibal in this inning. 
First pitch, takes it into right center, tracked beautifully. What a play by Carson Sneed. And everybody has to stay put. The piece of that play that then having to deal with the crooked numbers that Beecham's been able to put up this year. And they will have to face her. That's off the glove of Hannibal. Edenfield comes from second to score. As Mudge goes into second herself after the RBI. You have to have an additional player on the field you have to play against because this ball was smoked back up the middle. And the bobble in center is what allowed the runners to advance an additional base. Edenfield able to plate another run for Florida State. Mudge able to get herself to second with the hit on the count. Carolina's probably fine with that. That's one less pitch that Myrtle had to throw. Well, and maybe that's a tactic you could use, right? right? Just just violate the action clock four times. Here to Harding. Harding with a tapper. Myrtle can get herself out of the inning and does it. Leaves the bases loaded. Alma mater in that category as well. Alex Coleman, leadoff hitter. Gets on, despite all the good efforts of Beecham to charge in from third. Brooks can use, but in her last at bat, she slapped it down the line into the outfield. So she's got a little power and pop in that bat, too. Into short left field. Mudge was playing shallow and was able to hustle and catch it. First time she faced Gooden. A true freshman in the circle, that's foul. That's a fair ball, Pam. Fair out ball, in front, me. Out in front of the plate. The plate is in fair territory, and the home plate umpire signaled right away that that ball was fair. Automo in the first to face. Wilson goes after the first pitch she sees. Playable for Harding. Tagging at second. Coleman gets into third. Pam, and Settlemeyer into second. How many times have we... They had one and two to Thompson. Got her, what an out. True, the leadoff walk to start things off in the third. When, when you're able to play softball with joy, you're able to play loose. There's written so many, so many pieces of memorabilia. Throw down, and that is in time to get Torres. Nice throw there by Emerlin with Stottlemyre covering. That was in 2020, two years after they won the championship. Gets under the glove of Brooks for the one-out single. When Pam Flaherty is one of those players who put so much pressure on herself at the beginning of the year to be productive in her senior season. And her... Sends that into left field. Thompson underneath for a second out to Myrtle. Set a long way and gone. Janai Kerr with her eighth home run of the season puts Florida State on top for the first time today. Big home run for Janai Kerr, her eighth home run of the year. With throughout her career, but this ball, she goes away to pull an outside pitch, barely fair. It squeaks over the wall, but it's not about how far it goes over. It's just a matter of it getting over, and Janai Kerr able to plate a couple more runs to be able to say those difficult things to her teammates in those hard moments. Now Dak puts a charge in one off the top of the wall. Dak. Takes the wide turn, and that's one of the longest singles you're ever going to see. <laughs> For high school to introduce the game of fast pitch. Carson Sneed grabs it just at the lip of the warning track. People here were ready to do a home run celebration. Instead, that stayed in the park. Really appreciated the way her players have bought in. Middleton draws the leadoff walk here in the fourth. Good. Began this game at first base and then was inserted to pitch. Flaherty 
He jumps up and makes the catch. Pam, you know. Middleton had to hustle back to first. There's a single first pitch that Emerling saw. So now two on and one away. Who's played a really nice center field today. Grounded out her first time up, puts the bunt down. It's a beauty. Dak gets it over to Flaherty for out number two, but the other two runners advance. Power that they've shown that pulls the defense in and really challenges them to find holes with their short game. Found one there off Flaherty's glove. Grabbed by Torres to keep it in the infield, but the tying run with the third run comes in. And while that may prevent advancements, prevent another score from coming in. So she blocks it up and gets it right to Torres. There is no ability to make a play, but the heads up play of Torres. UNC trying to even up the series. Torres ends the inning. And Carolina gets a run to cut the lead to one. When we come back, we'll be speaking. But she's behind Mudge, three and one. Goes off speed, Mudge draws the lead off walk in the fourth. NBA playoff. I mean, Beecham has been so dominant at the plate. Had an RBI single her first time up, that hit her. And then her second time up, Myrtle came in and it was not technically an intentional walk, but they walked her. They, did, they weren't pitching to her. It was an unintentional. Stings it into left field over the head of Thompson. Mudge scores easily. Beecham behind her. Harding into third with two runs driven in. Please square it up. Left big, but it did have some velocity taken off of it. She recognized it, sat back, left the barrel over the plate at just the right spot. Able to plate a couple more, give the Knowles the lead. And she now sits just 60 feet from scoring herself. Hit into center field. Beautiful play by Sneed. But the tag from Harding brings those. And sometimes in center, it's hard to read how high the ball's going to fly if it was squared up or not. Able to retreat and get that one. I think it goes. Wilson in the circle. She's the one who gave up the walk-off home run yesterday. As soon as you blink, it's over. Full count. Head and field sends it into right center field. And with just nine fingers on the bat, she sends it out. I mean, Edenfield's been able to hit a bunch of bombs in her career, but that's the first broken foes that Edenfield is still able to put a great swing on pitches that are made as a mistake. Her 12th home run of the year, and this is a team that is starting to just figure out not just how to tap and go and use their speed, but they are using their power in a huge way in this series. That'll be able to help her create a culture of winning back at North Carolina. Tap back. To Wilson, who gets that will be at noon, and then Florida comes to town on Wednesday. Middleton ends the inning, but another big inning for the Knowles, highlighted by the two-run home run by Michaela Edenfield. And the, one of the things that I love about our game is you're allowed to have that personality. Some coaches allow it a little bit more than others as that ball goes deep out to right. An easy catch. Out there. <laughs> Autumn Owen. Out of the reach of Torres for the one out base hit here in the fifth. Under the glove of Beecham. Back to back hits for the heels here in the fifth. And the hard part on that ball. Is Punks in front of Harp. So three straight singles, station to station softball, were loaded up. 
up and give our best effort. Rolled over after the first inning. They're not doing that now. Wilson throws one of the backstop. Great hustle. Oh my gosh, she got her. Behind the plate, Fry is able to dive and tag out Fox. Pam, that's one of those plays that fires me up as a defender. I love the way that this ball gets all the way to the backstop, remembering that she is brand new back here behind the dish, and Fry comes forward. Even though we go to review, that is definitely an out. I mean, there is no other look that is better. Great job by our camera crew to be able to pick that ball up. I think... Playable for Mudge. They get out of the inning without giving up a run. Great play by Fry. Ross hits one down to Myrtle, who steps on the bag for the first out of the fifth inning. Solidly hit into center field. It got under it. Easy grab for Sneed. Florida State has had a base runner in every inning. Satoras has also been tearing it up. Beecham gets another hit. She's two for two on the day. They have two free passes. Harding in the right field, but right on it. Coleman grabs it. Regular season home game before they go to Syracuse, the Seminoles, and then we'll all be in Durham for the ACC tournament. There's your strikeout. There's your K-time. Wilson over to Flaherty, who couldn't hang on. And that's an uncharacteristic error by Flaherty. She's usually so sure gloved. But that. Pounced on it by Beecham to retire Coleman. Sneed now down at second. But now for Florida State. Caught. By Torres to end the inning. Very efficient by Royalty Duke. Back in March. Good glove work over there by Brooks for the out. When I would beg to say that Florida State never knows who they are that early in a season. Best softball at the end of the year. Devin Flaherty. Safe. It's a throw not handled cleanly over there by Myrtle. You mentioned Florida State now is in first place in the ACC. Duke behind him. Flaherty reached on an error, by the way, given to the pitcher. No, no, <laughs> I, it would be something where you'd have to bleep it if it came into me. Kerr sends it into left field at the wall, and it is off the wall. The runners had to hesitate for a minute. Mudge scores, and here with the winning run, safe all the way from first. And I think she does get her. I think she tags her on the hit before the foot is able to step on home plate. That's Emerling behind the plate. Remember, it has to be enough evidence to overturn the call, which was safe. But you see the glove kind of change direction, which would indicate, right, that it hit her, that it hit hard. But I like this aggressive move of... Ball game. The walk-off hit by Janai Kerr. Boy, what a game she has had. They have run for both games of this series, and now, Jen, that's 11 of their last 21. Well, both of these games in walk-off fashion, 
Janai Kerr with the walk-off hit here in game two. Jason, he beat him with the home run walk-off in game one. And Pam, this Florida State team now sits just one win away in this series to be able to solidify another regular season championship. Four RBIs 